here is a k map with four variables so y is a function of a b c and d and here is the associated k map let us see how this works these values 0 0 0 1 1 1 etc correspond to a and b these values correspond to c and d and as we go from one column to the next we notice as we mentioned earlier that there is only one change for example from 0 0 to 0 1 b changes but not a from 0 1 to 1 1 a changes but not b and so on similarly as we go from one row to the next there is only one change going from 0 0 to 0 1 d changes from 0 to 1 but not c etc let us now look at the mapping of y from this format to this format for a few entries for example consider this one what are a and b 0 0 what are c and d 0 1 so we have a b 0 0 and c d 0 1 so we have this column and this row and that is where that one goes let's take this x for example we have a b equal to 1 0 and we have c d equal to 0 1 so a b equal to 1 0 is this column and c d equal to 0 1 is this row and that is why we have that x over there etc you can check the other entries as well let us now look at a few examples of uh, functions with one single term such as this one here so this is a single product term it is the and operation of a b c bar and d bar and when is this uh, equal to 1 it's 1 for a b equal to 1 1 and c d equal to 0 0 so that column and that row that is where this one will appear all right let us consider another product term x2 now this term has only three variables a c and d and uh, x2 is 1 if a is 0 that means two columns because a is 0 here a is also 0 here so these are the two columns and what is uh, cd cd would be 0 1 that is this row so therefore we have two ones now like that let us take another example x3 equal to a and c this is another product term a single product term when is x3 equal to 1 when a is 1 and c is 1 a is 1 in these two columns and c is 1 in these two rows and therefore we have four ones here all right now let us make a few observations which are related to functions of this type where the function is a single product term but with different number of variables here we have four variables here we have three variables here we have two variables here is a table which relates the number of variables in these functions and the number of ones which appear in the k map if we have four variables as in this case then we have one one there if we have three variables like in this case then we have two raised to one ones that is two ones like that and if there are two variables as in this case then we have 2 raised to 2 or 4 ones in the k map like that so in each of these cases the number of ones is given by a power of 2 and that is a very important point to remember all right so that was about the number of ones and now we want to talk about the position of these ones how do these ones appear in the k map and if we look at these uh, examples we realize that the ones can be enclosed by a rectangle in each case 
so here is a rectangle here is a rectangle and this of course is just a single entry now these ones appear adjacent to each other and not one one here and the other one here so that we can form a rectangle around these two entries and the same thing holds about these four ones as well so that's a very important point as well let us look at these same examples once again and summarize the points that we made in the last slide if we have a function which is a single product term as in all of these then we can make two points about the k map point number 1 the number of ones is given by a power of 2 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 and point number 2 the ones are positioned such that we can draw a rectangle around them all right now with these in mind let us uh, proceed further let us now consider a function y which is the sum of x1 x2 and x3 that is the or operation of x1 x2 and x3 what will the map of y look like y is 1 if x1 is 1 or x2 is 1 or x3 is 1 so all we need to do now is to look at the position of ones in these three maps and just replicate those ones in the map for y it's as simple as that for example this one will go here these two ones will go here and these four ones will go over here and that gives us the map for the function y all right we now come to the actual problem that we are interested in we are interested in identifying a minimal expression from the given k map so take this y as an example we are given this map and from this map we want to find the minimal expression for the function and what do we mean by minimal we must have the smallest number of terms and smallest number of variables in each term that means we must identify the smallest number of rectangles containing 2 raised to k ones each as large as possible let us uh, see what this means in the context of this uh, particular example all right so this k map is given to us and we are asked to find the corresponding minimal expression how do we go about it we first identify rectangles which contain only ones and no zeros such that the number of ones is a power of 2 so we identify rectangles with two ones or four ones or eight ones and so on all right now we know that for each rectangle we can write a product term we have not yet looked at how to do that so there are three terms because we have three rectangles here this is of course a rectangle containing a single term so one rectangle second rectangle third rectangle so we know from this map that we have three terms and then we proceed to write each of these terms and that gives us the minimal expression so let us do that for a few examples and then it will become very clear so here is our first example and we want to find the minimal expression for this logical function y given by this k map so what is the first question we ask we want to find out how many ones are there and we see that there are two ones and in this case they happen to be adjacent so we can have one rectangle covering these two ones like that and since there are two raised to one ones forming a rectangle we can combine them since the rectangle covers all the ones which are in the k map these two ones we can conclude that the logical function y is represented by a single product term the next question is what is that product term let us make a few observations one 
the product term is 1 if b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 0. And we can see that from the k-map, these are the two ones which are covered by our product term. For this one, the value of b is 1. For this one also, the value of b is 1. What about c? In both these cases, c is 0. And that is why we say that the product term is 1 if b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 0. That is our first observation. Second, the product term does not depend on a. And we can see that from here. The product term is 1 if a is 0. It is also 1 if a is 1. So clearly, it does not depend on a. So, the only product term which satisfies all these conditions is B and C bar. This product term is 1 if B is 1 and C is 0 and it does not depend on A. And since in this case, this product term represents the logical function Y, we can say that Y is equal to B C bar. And we can see that from here. The product term is 1 if a is 0, it is also 1 if a is 1. So clearly it does not depend on a. Alright. Now it turns out that the only product term that satisfies all of these conditions is b c bar. b c bar is 1 if b is 1 and c is 0 and b c bar does not depend on a. And in this specific example, the product term that we have uh, figured out is the logical function y itself because as we mentioned earlier, y has a single product term because this one single rectangle covers all the ones in the k map and therefore we conclude that y is equal to b c bar. Next example, once again we have two ones here, this one and this one. And the question is whether we can combine these two. The answer is although the number of ones is a power of 2, they cannot be combined because they are not adjacent, that is they do not form a rectangle. The only rectangle we can think of which will contain these two ones is this one. But then in that case it will also contain zeros and that is of course something we don't want. So then we have a function with two terms which cannot be combined and each of them is a min term. What is this min term? It is 1 when a is 1, b is 1 and c is 0. So it is a, b, c bar. What is this min term? It is 1 when a is 1, b is 0 and c is 1. So it would be a, b bar, c. So our function then is this term plus this term like that a b c bar plus a b bar c and it cannot be minimized further. Next example, once again we have two ones, one here and one here and the question is whether these two ones can be combined. Now it seems to us that we cannot draw one rectangle without also including these zeros to contain these two ones that we have. And so the answer seems to be that the ones cannot be combined. But uh, let us redraw this k-map by changing the order of the columns in a cyclical fashion and see what we get. Here is the revised uh, k-map and what we have done here is we have drawn this 1 0 column first followed by 0 0 then 0 1 and then 1 1 so 0 0 0 1 and 1 1 and these two entries 1 0 have gone here these two entries have gone here and so on so by doing that we are not really changing the function the function is still what it was all we have done is rearrange the entries in the k-map. 
and now we see that these ones have come next to each other. So the two ones are in fact adjacent and can be combined like that. And what is the term that corresponds to this uh, rectangle? That is easy to figure out. We know that that product term is 1 if b is 0 and if c is 0. And it is independent of a because a is 1 here and a is 0 here. So that term must be b bar c bar. In other words, columns a b equal to 0 0 and a b equal to 1 0 in the k map on the left are indeed logically adjacent. So these two columns 0 0 and 1 0 are logically adjacent and uh, what does it mean? That means if we go from this column to this column there is a change only in one variable. So a is changing from 0 to 1 but b is not changing so therefore these are logically adjacent although they are not geometrically adjacent. And we could therefore have combined these ones without actually redrawing the K map like we did here. As long as we know that these two columns are adjacent, logically adjacent, we can think of a rectangle which covers this one and this one. Let us take this example. How many ones do we have? 1, 2, 3 and 4. And it appears that these four ones are not adjacent to each other and therefore cannot be combined. But they actually are adjacent. And why is that? Because this column is adjacent to this column, logically adjacent. Similarly, this row is adjacent to this row. And therefore, it is actually possible to draw a rectangle which will cover all of these four ones like that and uh, you are definitely encouraged to redraw this uh, k-map so that these four ones will appear as a bunch. Okay, So what is the term that corresponds to these four ones? That product term is independent of a because a is 0 here and a is 1 here. It has b bar because b is 0 here and b is 0 here. It is independent of C because C is 0 here, C is 1 here and it contains D bar because D is 0 here, D is 0 here. So that product that we are looking for is X equal to B bar D bar. Another example, once again we have four ones, 1, 2, 3, 4 and we can think of a rectangle which can cover these two ones, another rectangle which can cover these two ones. So our function can be written as a sum of two terms, one corresponding to this rectangle here and another corresponding to this rectangle here. But we can actually do better than that because this column 0 0 is adjacent to this column 1 0 and in fact these four ones can be combined with a single rectangle like that. And what is the term that corresponds to this uh, rectangle? It must be independent of A because A is 0 here, 1 here. It must contain B bar because B is 0 here. It must be independent of D because D is 0 here, 1 here. And it must contain C bar because C is 0 here and that gives us b bar c bar. Let us now consider this example which brings out a very important point. We have three ones here. This one corresponds to a, b, c bar, d bar, this first term here. This one corresponds to a, b, c bar, d, the second term and the third one to a bar b c bar d the third term here all right now since we have only three ones and three is not a power of two these ones cannot be combined into a single term however 
they can be combined into two terms and let us see how we can in fact have two rectangles one like that and one like that which will cover these uh, three ones but then notice that this one is getting covered twice now is that okay let us check let us write x1 as a b c bar d bar plus a b c bar d and we will write this term twice so a b c bar d plus a b c bar d and then this term all right now these two terms have a b c bar common and then we get d plus d bar like that and these two terms have b c bar d common and then we get a plus a bar now this is one this is also one and that gives us this uh, minimal expression a b c bar plus b c bar d and we don't need to actually go through this algebra we can simply do this by inspection we can draw two rectangles one to cover these two ones and another to cover these two ones and uh, it appears that we are covering this one two times but that is okay and that is because we have used this identity here this term call it y we have written as y equal to y plus y and that is perfectly fine one more example these four ones here can be clubbed into a single term these two ones can be combined with these two ones here because this column and this column are logically adjacent what will happen if we combine only these two and not these four this rectangle would have only two ones and that will mean a product term with three variables whereas this rectangle the purple one has four ones in it and therefore that gives us a product term with two variables so we save one variable in going from two ones to four ones all right now this one cannot be combined with any neighbor and therefore that remains as a min term this one is adjacent to this one because this row and this row are logically adjacent and therefore we can combine that one with this one notice that some of the ones have been used multiple times and uh, like we saw earlier we can do that because of the identity y is equal to y plus y for example this one has been used in the pink rectangle as well as in the purple rectangle this one has been used in the purple rectangle as well as in the green rectangle we can use ones multiple times and what is the overall objective of this whole exercise we want to cover all the ones in the k map with the smallest number of rectangles that gives us the smallest number of product terms in the final minimal expression and with each rectangle as large as possible and what does that do for us that gives us product terms with a smaller number of variables so that is how we get a minimal expression now let us see what the minimal expression corresponding to these rectangles is there this uh, term for example a bar c bar corresponds to this green rectangle here and you should really verify that so we have four terms in the minimal expression one corresponding to the green rectangle one corresponding to this purple rectangle this one one corresponding to this yellow rectangle which is just a single min term and one corresponding to this red rectangle that one so that is our final minimal expression let us look at this example which has some don't care conditions there is a don't care condition here t 
denoted by x and there is another one here. Now the question is what do we do with these x's? We can make this x 0 or 1. Similarly, we can make this x 0 or 1. And the question is what would be a good choice? Let us see. Suppose we make this x equal to 0 and this x also equal to 0. What do we have then? Then we have this one here, this one here, this one, this one and this one. We have five ones. These two ones can be combined with a rectangle. These two ones can also be combined with a rectangle. This one is actually adjacent to this one here and therefore these two can be combined as well. So we have three rectangles that means three product terms in the final expression and each term will have three variables. So that is the situation and it turns out that we can do better than that and let us see how. Let us suppose that we make this x equal to 0 and make this x equal to 1. And now we find that we have a much better situation. These two ones can be combined with one rectangle and these four ones can be combined with another rectangle. And with that we have only two terms in the final expression CD bar plus A bar C bar D. And that definitely is a better choice than our first choice in which both x's were zeros. So when we have don't care conditions in a K map, we need to consider various possibilities and choose that possibility which gives us the minimal expression.